Are you ready to put your costume on, little champ? Let's go. I'm going to change this paint over to red. Let's make him red. On the last video, I actually made it too hard for viewers to actually guess what you were. It was too tough. I actually made you Haunter. No one knew that. Today is going to be a bit easier. I need to change to the resize hand. There we go. This character should be very easy to get. Okay, so I've just got to put some, uh, just some little things out the side here. I'm not giving this one away. Otherwise, it will be way too easy. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good so far. It's looking all right. Okay, now we need to go ahead and dunk him. Actually, I have an idea. Instead of dunking him, let's change him into something else. And I need to get this guy to eat. I was so surprised that no one could guess that you were Haunter last time. <laughs> I suppose I said it was a Pokemon. Should have been way easy. Hey, pizza. Oh. Ha ha. There we go. All right, shrink it down. Oh, we need pink. Okay, there we go. Just going to put them on the side there. I had to rebuild it because I accidentally broke it. Oh, yeah, that's good. And we'll go like that. I want you guys to let me know in the comments who this character is. Let me know. <laughs> Should be very obvious to guess. Okay, I'm just going to pop you in there. You can <laughs> wedge in there. There we go. If you press them down, their face squishes out the glass. Hey, what's this bleb doing on the ground? What are you doing there? I'm gonna put him on my backpack. I feel like that's a special bleb. Now, in my backpack, I have some very special rockets. You guys know I've been trying for a while to make an actual rocket that can fly out into space. I've managed to mod the game so that the rockets will burn forever. Okay, that should be pretty good. All right, so this thing has to hold a bleb. All right, now I'm just gonna grab a green bleb. You guys are probably wondering, hey, you're like, Finn, this is probably gonna fail again, champ. You've tried this so many times and it just keeps failing, like, every time. I realize this. Not today, though. Today it's actually gonna work. I'm so pumped. I'm even on my knees at the moment. Alright, little bleb guy. Let's go. Let's just burn this thing. Let's get out of here. You're gonna be the first bleb in space. It's taking off! It's taking off! Yes! It's, it's out of here! See you, little bleb! See ya, buddy! He's the first bleb in space! Where's he going? Oh no! It's gonna crash! It is gonna crash falling out! The rocket crashed! Thankfully, I've got a stack more rockets I could use. Okay, next attempt! I'm just gonna give him a little push! Oh yeah, that's working good. That is working. That bleb is out of there. Enjoy your time in the cosmos! <laughs> you can see his, like, face is slammed against the bottom. Oh, he's bouncing. He's trying to escape. You can see the rocket just keeps going. It doesn't stop. How impressive is that? You're impressed, I can tell. So not only did I get unlimited rockets working, I also managed to play around with the blebs a little bit as well. Normally, you couldn't deep fry a bleb, right? You couldn't do that. Now, you definitely can. <laughs> you can do that. Right, I've made it so that the blebs are what's called dippable. Normally you couldn't actually dip them, now you can dip them. Which means you can, you can dip them in other stuff as well. I'm just gonna try and wash this one off. Oh, he's not washing off. Uh-oh, this is bad. How do we get all the deep fried stuff off him? Hang on, I have an idea. We need a cup. Let's get a sauce cup. Let's make a tiny swimming pool. Put him in it. Yeah! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> We've given him a bowl cut. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Where's your face? Oh, he's still got a face. See, you've turned into a super white toothpaste bleb. Let's see if this works. No, nope. he actually just drinks that. But if we go like that and make it sauce, we should be able to... Yeah, we can dip him in sauce. You can dip a bleb. Oh, that's good. Look at that chunky red bleb. Let's go cheese. Make a cheese bleb. Whoa. You can even do multiple colors. Oh, that's great. That is so great. Can you then deep fry them? Yep. You totally can. I wonder if that works with a blebble. Oh, that'd look so weird. A half fried blebble? What about this one? Oh, cool. Purple. <laughs> it's just a purple ball. Now, if I turn you into a different bleb, does that still work? All right. So you're a molten bleb, right? <laughs> <laughs> he is! He's a molten bleb from the 80s. Look at that haircut. Looks so good. Dude, that's a mad looking haircut. Just clean all that off. So what other stuff can we dip this guy in? Let's get whatever this is. These are just drinks, yeah? Stand there, molten bleb. All right, fill it up with green. Whoa. Okay, because that's not a sauce. You can't dip it. Right. Okay, let's see if I can get myself a blebble and see if these guys are dippable as well. Whoa, dude, he 
he's like encased. That's incredible. Let's just get his little face sticking out of there. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, deep fried blebble. Man, he looks good. The deep fried stuff becomes like a hard crust that you can sort of press against the thing. Can we clean that off? Let's just get that off there. There we go. Wash off all the crusty bits. All right, we'll give you some green hair, little champ. Let's just go like this. Just give him a green haircut. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That looks, it looks like he's actually covered in swamp scum. I wonder if this means we can also use some of the science liquids on them. Maybe we can, maybe we can. All right, let's just quickly do a meal. The I feel like I'm letting down the cafeteria at the moment. Hey, Blort, how's it going, champ? How's it doing? Ice cream with two scoops, super boring, just like you. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's very mean. Do not treat your broccoli friends like that. Bung that on there. Get the nebula space cream as well. Deep fried ice cream coming right up. Yummy. There you go, buddy. Get that one. Thanks, man. Like I said, I was able to modify some of the stuff in the game. I'm just gonna try something that I just did with friend. Let's just give that a shot. Yeah, there we go. That works. Okay, I made it so that if I change the size of friend's head, it doesn't change back. <laughs> it's permanent. There you go. Friend now has a giant head forever. Does it work on specs? Hey, specs, I'm just gonna make your head big. There you go. No, so S Specs actually shrinks back down. Friend is, is big-headed forever. Let's see if it works with shrinking. Tiny head. <laughs> yeah. Her arms are still the same length though. Whoa, not inside out. There we go. Teeny head. Hey, hey, Friend. <laughs> hey guys, all right down in science. Let's see if some of these liquids work on these special blebs So I did it to uh, What do we got? I think I think the regular bleb is one that I modified. Let's give this a shot. So We'll go with the metal thing. No, this is not metal uh, Did I do anything? I don't think that did anything. Let's try something like this to see if it makes him float. So, we'll go that in there, because normally, if your feet- Oh, there we go! It's coated him in it! Yes! And he's floating! We've made a floating bleb! The science, like, liquids work! Normally, they don't work on blebs at all! Oh, that is so good! It just wore off. Okay, let's try another one. What else do we have? So, it doesn't work by splashing them, you have to actually dip them in it. So, we go like this. Oh, we've given him a rainbow! Cool! Normally they just turn into a rainbow bleb. They don't have the actual effects of the science liquid going on. Dude, that's amazing. Oh, <laughs> bouncy him! <laughs> yes! Yes! We gotta try this. If you guys don't know what bouncy him is, check this out. It makes liquids bouncy stuff. That's so good. Okay. Are you ready, bleb? I'm putting you in the liquid, champ. You're gonna be a bouncy bleb. Did that- Oh, yeah, that worked. Whoa. Hang on, let's just chuck him up. Yeah, he's a bouncy bleb. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Look at him bouncing around. Hey, oh, that's hilarious. That is so good. Oh man, bleb science just evolved big time. Oh, are you serious? Sticky him? What? We can make sticky blebs? I really hope this works. Let's pop him in there. Here we go. I'm just gonna drop him. Is he gonna stick? <laughs> <laughs> yep, he splats. He just splats to the wall. Get off there. He's stuck real good. Oh no, this is bad. Get off there, champ. <laughs> oh, what? It's like they have a sphere-shaped core thing. Do you reckon I could stick him to another bleb? Oh no. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> this molten bleb's got a rainbow bleb stuck to him. Oh no. We've just busted the lot. He's got sticky on him as well now. <laughs> that is so good. Yep. I've just got three blebs all stuck together. That is such a mess. Okay, I need to separate them. This guy still floats though. So that's pretty cool. Are you guys all right there in the ground? Just pancake to the floor? Something else I never realized is you can do this with this volcano. You can spray it and then it erupts. Yeah, how cool is that? Dude, that's amazing. Now, if only I could work out how to put anything in a bubble, that'd be really cool. Because, friend, you're going in a bubble if I can do that. All right, I'm going to see if I can try and wash them off. Uh, I might need some water. 
And then we'll go like this, empty that out, fill this up with water, and see if we can cleanse them. Douche. Yep, that worked. We've got rid of the weird orange core. Ugh. Did that work? Yeah, you're back to normal blips. Not that one, though. There you go. Honk sauce! Honk sauce! We might be able to eat a bleb. Okay, did that? Yeah, that worked. You can see it gets this weird effect going on. This is a bouncy bleb blebble. Whoa, it is. <laughs> you can slap him against the wall. Come here. Watch this. Ready? Whoa, cool. I wish I had a bat. That's what I need, a bat. Hey. Hi, buddy. How's it going? What do you think of the science today? It's come a long way, hasn't it? Honk sauce me. Oh, he's giving me the recipe. That's what he's doing. Okay, I'll quickly make some. You need bounce, buzz, and heat. Okay, bounce, coffee, and then heat, and stir. Whoa, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, we've got honk sauce. You just gave me some more. Thanks. I'll just throw that in there. <laughs> Here we go, blubble. Oh, he just turned into a blubana. Wait a sec. <laughs> I just ate him! I just ate the blab! Whoa! I thought you had to dip him for it to work. Oh. I can eat anything that I want. Can I eat an ultimate blab? Dude, this is so good. No? Oh, I know why. Because this blab, I didn't actually modify this one to make him, uh, you know, uh, dippable. So that does nothing. Okay, let's see if that fixed it. Hey, there we go! I've worked this thing out! So cool! All right. <laughs> yeah, I just ate a bleb. Oh, he's gone white. Hey, that's weird. What about metal? Whoa. Cool. He's got the metal coating, but he still bounced, like, still squishes. Oh, nice. It's a caffeine ultimate bleb. And bouncy him mode. Nice. And then toss him around. Thank you. All right, give me that I back. I don't know why you're giving me this. There is so many crazy possibilities now with these guys. Given that all of the blebs can do this. All right, here we go. Yeah, splat to the wall. <laughs> Man, that looks funny. That looks so good. Look at this little guy. He's like melted. All right, guys, if you come up with any crazy things you want to see me try with like these, you know, science liquids and blebs, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video. Catch you guys next time.